Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, let me introduce you to myself that I am Mamta and I am currently 34 weeks pregnant. So yeah, I can't wait for the arrival of my beautiful baby girl on 19 August 2020. So if you are new, please do not forget to subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up and please comment on the box below. And yeah, I'm going to uh, share the link of my previous pregnancy journey. So if you have missed my pregnancy journey, you can always click on the description box below and check how the journey has been. So yeah, everything has been going on smooth this week. So I'm going to update you as usual on my um, baby symptom and uh, what symptom I have been going through. And uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the uh, belly shot of my baby inside me so hope you enjoy my channel wow it's it's already 34 weeks it's there's only six more weeks left to go can't believe how fast time is going and i'm super excited about it because i'm a first time mom and at the same time, I'm very nervous about how things are going to be and everything. So now it's July and by uh, third week of August, hopefully by third week of August, my baby girl will be on my arm. So yeah, I hope, uh, I really can't wait to welcome my baby girl on my arm. So this week there has not been much changes going on. Um, on the size of my baby so my baby is about four pounds and she measures about 17.6 inches from head to toe so she is the size of a cantaloupe so if you're wondering what is cantaloupe that that is cantaloupe it's a um, it's a kind of a melon or maybe it's a melon but yeah the app says that my baby's uh, fingernails have uh, grown fully and um, I can't cut my baby's fingernail when she's born so I have to wait for a few more weeks uh, when she's born I have to wait for a few more weeks then I can cut her fingernails because her fingernails will be really soft when she's born so now I have to start getting the, uh, the manicure kit for my little baby girl's uh, fingers so her finger will be neat and trim so she doesn't scratch herself and everything you know how babies uh, the reason why babies wear mittens is because they um, tend to scratch themselves and uh, because of that um, my sisters have got some uh, mittens for the beautiful baby niece and uh, yeah I can't wait to put that on her. Uh, that's all for the update of my baby girl for this week. There has not been much going on so I'm going to my update. The things progress. Uh, Sorry, I'm supposed to speak Nepali. I always tell myself that I want to speak Nepali, but I end up speaking English every time. Uh, I'm sorry, it was <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay, as uh, as time goes by, the awkwardness feeling and uncomfortableness is always there. Like, do I still feel it is part of pregnancy, so I can't help it. But uh, overall, other than that, everything has been pretty good. Mirror. Uh, heartburn June I was talking about last week my heartburn uh, last week or uh, at least I can say 90% of my heartburn is gone I have my uh, midwife appointment in a couple of days time so I was thinking more uh, midwife Kumagera I will talk to her about my heartburn and everything but at the same time me and being free you know Google up girl I heard that uh, coconut water helps in heartburn when Kumagera is so recently I have been drinking coconut water uh, quite a lot I and mean, heart uh, maybe it's because of the coconut water mirror heart pani less week so I'm so I'm grateful that uh, I did research on my own but yeah I have to uh, but yeah I have to talk to my midwife about my heart burn too just to let her know what uh, symptoms I have what new symptoms my lay uh, since the last time I visited her until now key new symptoms boy they will keep asking me so yeah so I guess uh, that is one of the symptoms that I'm going to talk to her and other than that um, 
मेरा बैक पेन अली लैस हो देता है बिकॉज़ माय मॉम हैज बीन गिविंग मी फ्रीक्वेंटली ऑयल मसाज गॉड देस है मेरा मम्मी बिकॉज़ यू नो नेक्स्ट मंथ आई एम गोइंग टू गिव बर्थ सो माय मॉम हैज बीन टेलिंग मी एट इज़ अ मंथ बिफोर यू गिव बर्थ आई हैव टू डू बैक मसाज यू गोइंग टू पर्सो सो दैट इट हेल्प्स विद द baby go i don't know delivery or something it helps with it but i ban bhai ko thiyo so because of that she is helping me to do frequent uh, back massage and everything ani mera back pain pani ali less hude cha ani jun maile few weeks ago mero pelvic area ma mero pain bhai ko thiyo tyo pani less hude cha because uh, i guess now the baby has decided not to come out early or i don't know it's because of the oil massage or what but because of that mera pelvic area mani uh, less pain ho desa so i'm quite thankful because if not uh, you know that's this sharp pain ho jati area ma so it, it really hurts but thank god it doesn't hurt anymore and and anyway i have six more weeks so i don't think baby is ready to come out yet because she is really comfortable inside because she loves punching her mom a lot and uh, she is still doing it i can feel it she is really enjoying it a lot and but as long as my baby is enjoying it i'm fine with everything mm, that is going on so i just want a healthy baby born at the end of the pregnancy period that's it and uh, any other than that mere oru symptoms but uh, i go because my mom has been doing this massage for me uh, she has been uh, doing my hair massage too and mere um, body the i don't know it hits up uh, my like got me feeling big i think i told you i feel so hot uh, i sweat at night i don't like to put on blanket while i'm sleeping you know it really my uh, body heat up because like so i don't know it's because pregnancy period ma test huncha or what but my body is uh, heating up so uh, last time uh, my mom did oil massage mero hema and what uh, what happened was that uh, i left the oil massage overnight just so that you know oil massage le gada mero hair smooth huncha ki bhanera i left it overnight and he, next day i have this itchy feeling on my hair and later i told my mom to check my head like she said there was some red uh, rashes or thyo banara ban bhayeko thyo so i think because my body heat up bhayera i'm sweating and and on top of that uh, i go for walk and i'm sweating and because of that pani mero red rashes i got still lagyo so just yesterday when my mom did a uh, oil massage for my hair again I made sure that I wash my hair in a couple of hours time because I didn't want to uh very long clay rakera you know I didn't want to make the rashes go worse and worse so the reason I'm doing oil massage mira hema is that my hair is really very rough it's really rough and I just hope uh, that the oil massage will help my hair to maintain the smoothness and everything or oh, since young my hair was always thick and rough so because of that um I always used to do oil massage but my kaile pani mero oil massage gada fer mero red rashes kaile pani aina but during this pregnancy when I did the oil massage I had this uh, red rashes which really hurts even now when I touch my hair it really hurts a lot but um, but this are hurt when they know that I can't do oil massage I read I prefer oil massage you know when uh, my mom does the oil massage it It really makes me feel relaxed and everything. So I'm glad she's here. She's giving me massages. Yeah. As for my sleep, uh, my sleep same. You know, in the middle of the night, I wake up to go to toilet. And this party, I can't sleep for at least an hour. I'm turning on and off here and there, trying to uh, make myself go back to sleep. You know, and um, because of that, when you're like afternoon, ma, I tend to get so tired. but uh, i try not to sleep in the afternoon time uh, no matter how much tired by any more afternoon time uh, i try not to sleep because i know that once my afternoon time must sleep gore bani i can't sleep at night that's the main problem but uh, at night i have been going to sleep early so around 9:30 i'm off to bed i'm already um, i'm already on bed but obviously i don't sleep at 9:30 kiki garda 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 you know by twisting and turning you got the it's already 10 pm and finally i managed to sleep so it's quite hard pregnancy bella to sleep 
but I'm trying my best to sleep so that uh, I don't I try to go to sleep early around 9 30 10 o'clock to because I know obviously around 2 o'clock 3 o'clock I will definitely wake up to the that's like I don't even have to put alarm clock on it like every time I wake up it's always 3 plus 3 plus me so every time I look at my watch and I keep thinking oh it's already 3 plus like I don't even have to put an alarm like 3 plus I wake up instantly and have to go to the toilet I don't know that has been going on for the past couple of weeks especially during my third trimester suru bhai pachi that's how things have been going on and then yeah my weight has been increasing week by week surprise surprise <laughs> so yeah i i'm quite disappointed that my weight has been increasing week by week week but uh, i guess there's nothing i can do uh not only my weight i think my baby's weight has also been increasing week by week so i'm okay with it I even if I'm not okay with it I have to tell myself that it's okay baby is being healthy everything is going smoothly so just don't worry about the weight just eat what you like to eat worry about the weight only after you give birth I mean for the couple of weeks that's what I'm telling myself so that I've noticed I have a weight increase by good bad feeling no who's gonna okay you know which is like oh I can't help it anyway. Top of my weight, my belly is uh, bigger and bigger with this week by week. So it's uh, getting so hard for me to put my uh, shoes on. And even so, that's why most of the time I always try to put my sandal. And in sandal money, uh, you know, I wear this striped color kind of sandal that, you know, sandal striped. So I wear that because it's uh, comfortable. That kind of sandal is comfortable. But nowadays i have ended up not putting the stripe on my sandal because i can't um, bend down and put the stripe and everything so most of the time when i go out my stripe open and then you can see in the picture above that that's how i put my sandal without the stripe on so yeah yeah i'm not being lazy or am i yeah anyway i'm not being lazy it's just that uh, I just can't seem to bend down. A little difficult to bend down. And it's already winter and uh, my winter jacket doesn't fit me anymore. Which is quite sad because it's winter and then next week, Hami family, we are planning to go out early in the morning at 4 o'clock. Motesko blog Banaira, I'll show you where I'll be going early in the morning at 4 a.m. So yeah, mm, but... Uh, I really hope that uh, no I have a jacket that uh, fits me I have a jacket I have one jacket that fit me because um, two jackets in my lay you came on the film when I was a bit plum and then after I came back from UK I lost quite a lot of weight but uh, yeah I look like I'm wearing that jacket and I think um, on Saturday when I go out at 4 o'clock in the morning, I'll wear that jacket or last lakta. So, that's the only jacket that fits me anyway. Even if I don't want to wear it, I don't have a choice. Like, I have to wear only that jacket. But other than that, I hope that uh, Tasmanima is going to be cold, obviously. So, my uh, give birth goodies in the I hope my other jackets will fit me by then. Because I... I don't want to invest money on jackets and everything when I have plenty of jackets. Actually, I made a plenty of jackets sir, because uh, the last time when I went Nepal, it was winter season. And because of that, I had uh, bought a couple of new jackets, Lego Tour. So I haven't wear the jacket that much. So I don't want to waste money just buying a bigger size jacket. So I'll try my best to fit in the jacket. Very sure of my baby this week. I don't know if it can be seen, but yeah, that's how big she has become. She's enjoying inside me, she's kicking me, she's swimming around, she's having fun. But yeah, basically, so yeah, basically that's it for this week. Not much uh, things going on and I hope you did enjoy my blog and then... Uh, Thank you for watching my blog and if you are new please do not forget to subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up and I
on my next vlog which should be coming soon on saturday which was the picnic outing that we did uh, so just keep an eye and hope you will enjoy my picnic outing on that day and then yeah thank you very much for watching my channel and yes a big love from a mom to be